The, we're going to start with the coffin bone, which is the bone inside of the hoof. That is sometimes is referred to as the pedal bone uh, because of its shape. All right, and right above the pedal bone is our short pastern or the middle fat uh, phalanx. That comes right up above, right in here. And then we have the long pastern, which is right above it. You can see I'm not going to be super, super uh, careful about how I'm putting on these bones. I just want to put them in so that I know roughly where they are. Because this is not a sculpture of bone. This is a sculpture of a horse's leg. Back here we have our... Um, we have a sesamoid bone, which gives the fetlock that partly the reason why it has that nice rounded point. So that's a little sesamoid right there. Put that in. And then I'm gonna move my way up the cannon bone. Uh, as we commonly call it the cannon bone, it is called the metatarsal bone. There are two metatarsals in the uh, cannon leg area. There is the large metatarsal, which you can easily palpate on the front of the leg. And then there's the smaller metatarsal along the back side of the cannon. You can also palpate that and you can feel it and kind of grab it and you know, palpate it very gently. So as I'm sculpting, of course, rotating it round and round, this is a three-dimensional object, so I need to make sure how that I am conscious of how I'm affecting it from all angles and all sides. And as you see, as I'm going through this, I am making little adjustments to my armature because once I get past this stage, thinking these little adjustments are, are very, very difficult and will cost you detail and time. So you want to make sure that you're being really conscious of this. So now we're coming up into the joint area, into the hawk. Those bones up in there are our, tar tar sorry, our tarsal bones. Um, there are several in the joint area, one of which that makes up the hawk, which points out this way. a little bigger because that's going to determine the hawk shape. Right. So coming out soon, um, I'm in the middle, well actually a little further along in the middle, I am currently making, putting together a course on leg mobility and that is going to take you through uh, everything that you could imagine about legs and horses, how horses use their legs and what they can and can't do, the building the muscle structure, the skeletal structure. Um, it's a very hefty course, so do keep an eye out for that. That will be coming out later this year. I'm not making any promises about dates yet because I don't have a date, but that will be happening this year. It's going to be very exciting. Um, some of the videos uh, include live horse examples, um, lots of visuals to describe you know, what we're talking about. So that's gonna, that's really exciting. Okay, so I've gotten up past the hawk joint here and I'm now making my way up into the tibia. The 
as we move our way up the leg, the bones gradually get larger. So I want to, I want to reflect that in my sculpting. Because that's going to indicate how much bulk I'm going to add to the sculpture. So good. Now the tibia forms the the stifle along with the patella and the femur. Patella is that like, there's this tiny little bone that kind of floats out here, and then the the femur, uh, which goes up into the hip. So that's in this area, and I can see that I actually put this joint up too high. So I'm gonna bring that down. So a lot of this is, it's much like uh, training horses, if you've ever done any horse training. Uh, I train my own horse uh, every day. And you're constantly assessing and reassessing the situation, right? Because you, in, it's, it takes a lot of really being, allowing yourself to recognize that, okay, maybe I'm, I didn't do that quite right. Let me try, try it another way. Or um, today, it's I'm feeling a little bit differently. Or the horse came out of the stall a little bit differently than he came out yesterday. So let's let's try it. Let's tweak it and try it a little. You know, try it this way. So it's it's really every single time I do a sculpture, it's a learning process for me. And I really hope that you will approach it that way as well because we never ever get to a point where we're done learning. The artist should always be learning as soon as the learning process stops. Unfortunately, that's when the quality will decline. Um, so do make the, con the conscious effort to be a constant learner. Um, there's always going to be somebody out there that you can learn from. There's always going to be somebody that will be able to accomplish something a little better than you or me. Uh, and, and that's great because that is an opportunity to learn and an opportunity to improve. So I really like to see that as a, uh, see that from a, a very positive standpoint. But it can be scary and I recognize that too. You know, and when you start to get into unfamiliar ground, See how we're doing on time here. Okay. So the femur has this nice round piece to it that that sits in uh, with the uh, the tibia. The back side of the tibia has uh, what's called the fibula. That's back here. I'm not going to worry about that because uh, I'm going to be going back over this and and putting you know mass all over this. We're not going to be able to see it. I, this is just for uh, accuracy sake. If I were to leave this as a bone sculpture, of course, I would go back and I would, I would make this perfect. But that's not the goal for today. <clears throat> all right, so this is our femur. The femur goes quite up this way, and then it's going to connect. It's going to sit into a ball and socket joint, right? Um, the um, the femur when it when it connects to the ilium or the pubis, the pubis, the ilium, and the ischium are all fused bones, even though they have separate names. This sits into the into a socket, so the femur has a round bone that goes into a socket joint into the pubis. So that's right in here. I am not going to be sculpting the upper part of the hip today. I'm just uh, not gonna have, I don't think I'm gonna have the time. If we do, we'll go back and I will share that with you.
If you liked this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and jump over to my website, sculptureequineanatomy.com, where you can register for our upcoming leg mobility course.